front, which is Kay, and um, Maggie's behind. I'm behind, hello. And she'll, and she'll be the one asking all the questions later. I will, so pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're putting together the On the Veranda. So I've detabbed all my pieces. So I'm going to start with my first bit is going to be my side of my house and I'm going to put it to the base like so. Perfect. Okay, so and I'm going to use our Tiger Tape to help keep it in place while the glue is sitting. So I'll That's a low tack um, repositional state tape. Yeah, and you can use it over and over. And yeah. It's brilliant for and for delicate stuff. So I'm going to put the glue on there. And what glue are you using? Today? I'm using our I'm using Speed Bond. Um, Speed Bond. Yeah. Okay, so that takes five minutes to set, so it's a quick set one. So I'm just doing it on that side because I'm going to put that that side on in a minute as well. So I'm going to put my tape like. This is so much easier using so. the tape as well, isn't it? For yeah. Assembly. And then I'm going to put glue on there. I'm also going to put glue on that side as well. So I thought about it. There we go. And right, so just put that into place, and then just use, just use a tape just to squidge it into place like that. And then I'm going to put that side. That's going to fit on. I need to get my hands out of the way. Whoops, like that. Come forward a bit. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's with the <coughs> angle corner pointing up towards the... Yes, that's it. That's, it. that's the side one. On the, on the instruction sheets it says side, and that's the side. Okay? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'll put the, put the glue on this. Just hold that uh, in place. I'll just use my hand cream. That's it. Okay. And then I'll put a bit of glue on the sides. Oops, that's probably too much. But put that at the bottom. Okay. And then, so you're going to put your angle, so it's going to fit like that. So I'll just put that into place and put a bit of tape underneath. So it's pointing up towards the back of the thingy. Yeah, I'm just going to put a bit of tape underneath because it's just holding in place. Oops. So, I'm, sorry, I'm doing this back to front, so, so you can see what I'm doing. You're doing not. a grand job. Well, we're getting there eventually, it fits <laughs> eventually. Okay, so it fits in like that, and I'm going to use the tape to tape it together. And a little bit one side just to do the edge. Okay, and that will sit nicely and set. So while that is setting, I'm going to put my chair together. Okay, so I'll just leave that to one side, and then I'm going to put the chair together. So we've got two rocking horses. Of course, we've got two rocking chairs, sorry. I'm just <laughs> it's been a long day. day. It has been a long day. <laughs> Okay, you, uh, for the rocking chairs you get two pieces, so you get uh, one side and the other side matches like that. You get your back piece, which is that one with the diamond on it, that's your seat, and then you get um, a, a rail for the top part. So you're going to put a bit of glue on here and here. So what I've done, can you, can, you, can you move it across there to not? I'm just top? coming out so I can see, yep, yeah, we can see now. Okay, so what I've done, I've used a bit of the um, tape and just put a little bit down. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the glue on the tape and use cocktail stick so I can use a little bit of glue at a time. So the advantage of this is, is when I've finished, and I can just peel the, peel the tape off and it's not ruined my board. Great idea. I'm going to zoom so, back in now, Kay, because you're okay. working with little... Little bits. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue well, there. I can, that's it, I can remember how to work the machine. I've done it. You've done, you've done that, okay. <laughs> so I've got a bit of piece of glue here and a piece of glue on that side. I'm actually going to put a little bit of glue on there as well, on that side, while it's in my hand. Okay, and then I'm just going to squish that together like that. Okay, and that's, make sure that's upright. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, just leave that to one side just for a sec, and I'm going to put the back onto the seat. So that's the seat. And that's going to fit in like that. So I'll just put a bit of glue on the inside there. If you're going to do lots of teeny tiny assembly bits, we have got our laser cut kit glue, haven't we? We have, yeah. We're at the really fine point, but this is perfect for this. Yeah, so just a cocktail stick. If you've got the speed bond, it's great. So, and then put that in. Whoops. Like that and hold it just for a sec. Okay, and then you just need to make sure that just sets in there like that. Okay, and then we're going to put the seat in the chair so I'll give it a minute or two just to just to set so the speed bond doesn't take long and what you're going to do is put a bit of glue 
on the top here. And if it's a bit of glue just on this bit here. Can you see this all right? Uh, tippy tippy tap, that's it. See it now. A bit, bit, bit of glue there. And you're going to put glue here and here. Okay, so I'm hopefully that's now set enough to move it around. Okay, and then I'm going to put, tip this. Can you see this? Yeah. I'm going to get glue over my hand as well. I'm going to put that on like that. And measure that so that fits in like that. Does that make sense? Yeah, does that just fit on the underneath of the yes? Um, it just, it back just glues sits on the underneath, yeah. It doesn't, yeah, yeah fits in like that. Cool. Okay, and then I'm going to put glue on these pieces and I'm going to put the top bit on. So I'm going to put glue here and a piece of glue there. I've already glued that bit, yeah, and then I'm going to put a little tiny bit more glue come forward on that and that. Okay, and then we'll just put this on. Now this bit can be a bit fiddly, just to be careful and just take your time. Okay, because it might collapse at this point, at which point lots of swearing is used. No, you'll be fine. If you can build a mini book on TV, Kay, you can do this. I was thinking about other people when they're doing it at home, but... Yeah, I'm just thinking it'll go flying when I do it. Okay, okay and that is your chair. Brilliant. Uh, just make sure everything's nice and squared up. Just, just gently put it in position if it needs that. So I think that's fine as it is, that's in position. And I should just carefully put that to one side. <laughs> just and finally, because we forgot, <laughs> because I was putting things around, I thought, oh, I've got a bit missing, is you need to put the arms on the armchair. So just put a little bit of glue there and there. And you've got your little arms cut out, because it won't be very comfortable otherwise. No. So put your arms on there. And then that one there. And that is now your final, that's your rocking chair done now. Perfect. And then we come back to our veranda. Right, just moved out a smidge. Okay. That's it. Okay. So we're back to our veranda. So this, these are now set a bit more. Now I'll use the speed bond. It's quite reasonably firm, although I will keep the tape on it for a little bit longer. So I'm going to now do the floor and the base. Oh, I've got to put the base in. I'm going to do the floor. So I don't need the roof. So you get... Your, uh, you get your um, floor, which is, we've done it with um, planks on it for you. And then you're going to stick this piece, which is just a smooth curve, directly over there like that. So it's flush against here, and you keep the tab at the back here free. Yeah. Okay, and it's flush there. So I'll just put a bit of glue on that bit. Yeah, so it does that. So you can feel it it's in position. Okay. Do you want some more tape? So, no, I don't need any tape for this. That's fine at the moment, I think. Okay, so that fits in like that. And then you're going to put this piece, this is one with a little tabby bit on it, and that goes over the top like that. So it's square here and it's square there. But when you turn it over, you're going to have a little step. Okay, just put that flat. I'm, I'm, it's not quite square, but I'm just... No, but it was the idea. Let me just zoom in so we can see. So you've got the idea, okay? Yeah. All right, so I've already glued that on, so I'm going to put that in the right angle, like that. So I know that's going to be square. This is, um, this is um, not solid because if you want to, you can make a little nick in the either corner and you can feed through, if you wanted to, um, light fittings. That's so you, you can put your cable across here, so if you wanted to do that, so that's, it, 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 it reduces the um, cost of the kit down a tad, but it's, the main thing is that you can put wires underneath there if you wanted to, and add some more um, lighting of your own. So you can put it under the floor then, and it can come up through the um The fact size. is, that deep enough to hold some of those, it is, to hold some of those flat battery? Might be, yeah, should yeah. be. Should be, should but be. But, you're, but you're going to glue it in so you can't access it. No, you can't, that's true. So if you want to do it, you'll put your light fitting, your, your battery bit on the back. Mm. It might even house mm. where the light is going. Mm. Um, and then you just increase thread that hole through. a bit. Yeah. And, and you can through. thread it through. And then you can either come up in that corner or that corner yeah. if you wanted to. You do, all you do is just um, file a bit off the corner. File a bit off that corner. Okay, so I'll just make sure that's in the right place. So now I've been talking and I've just unsquared it. There we go. Fits in like that. Okay. So this is now going to fit into that. So it fits, those tabs fit into 
those. Yeah. And that glues across the top and just fits flush against there. Yeah. Okay, so I'll glue that now. So let's put glue in. Glue on the top. Maybe Which one's do. been your favourite so far, Kay, out of the three corner nooks you've done? Actually, I quite like this one. Mm. Uh, I also like the book one. I like tea for two. Yeah, <laughs> I like all of them. I, th I, th I, th I do. I, the one I've just done, I think, is my favourite. I think this one or the next one. Mm -hmm. I've already got it in my head. What I'm doing. Somebody's given us an idea about one. Mm. I was thinking about it last night. Mm. So, that. so that fits in like that. Lovely. Okay, so that's nice. And now you put in the other side. So just make sure you've got your um, round of bits out, and that will fit there. Okay, so it fits in that tab fits into there, and then this just glues onto the here, in, inside, inside edge yeah. of that one. And yeah. I'll, I'll okay. give yeah, I've got some tape. Oh, have you? Okay, I'll do a bit, couple of bits of tape, please. Thank you very much. That's fine. That'll do. That's fine. I'll just turn that. That's fine. So I'll glue those bits in there. So we've got some fab samples that have been made up already. Oh, we? yeah. The girls have done a brilliant job. So, and, and a husband as well. And a husband. And Jenny's husband has done a brilliant job. He's done um, the Death in Paradise shack, hasn't he? He has. And he's who's he put on the side? He's, he's put Harry. Oh, it's Harry. It's not Harry. It's Harry, yeah. isn't it? Harry. Okay. And then that fits in. Like that. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit of tape just to make sure that's nice and square. That's it. Okay, and that's nice and square there. That's fitting in there. I might just put a little bit of tape underneath just to make sure. There we go. So it does look like it's been in an accident, but hey ho. It's <laughs> right for the minute. Right, okay, so next is putting the housing in for the light switch. So that is that piece here, and that fits. Now I'm going to have to put it in, in and I'll show you what I've done. It fits in, if you can get it right. Oh, yeah. right it, that's it. Right, it fits in like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, that's how it fits in. So you're going to glue it um, on the back piece there, on the inside here, and along there, and that, that where it fits the tab. Yeah. So I will put a bit more tape, I'll get myself a little bit of tape and I'll put it around. On that side piece, so I'll just make sure I've got the glue in round. Okay, and I want that one to end, that bit on the side, and then I've got a little bit of glue underneath on the tab. Oops. So you're just going to get my hand, sorry, so you've got to put a glue there. Can you see that? Yes, uh, yes, yeah, you <laughs> did see it. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So I need one piece. Right, I'll just tear that in half. Did we put the cat in or have we got to add that? No, we need to put out the cat. So there will be a cat. So, because obviously you have to have a cat. It's, you do, it's part of that. It's the law. It's the law. It is the law. Okay, so as you can see, it fits in like that. Right, come forward a bit. There we go, like Perfect. that. Okay, and I'm just going to put a bit of tape there. So it fits in, so it's nice. So it fits in flush against here, so you shouldn't be able to see it if you look at it in the front. Yeah. Okay, and that fits in at the top. And it's flush at the back as well. And it's flush it? at the back like that. Okay? Yeah. Right. And then the, and the side piece of this fits in like that. Perfect. Okay, so I'll just glue that into place. And I'll put the glue on there. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. Have you? Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to say. You've got to put it Okay. <laughs> How much is that going to cost? ka -ching, <laughs> Oh, I'm just thinking of decorating one. ka -ching. I have lots of brilliant ideas, and the first thing Kay always says is, oh, how much is that going to cost? Yeah, well, she gets her hands on the Graphic 45 catalogue, and we're, in, we're all doomed. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> you don't probably know what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of um, tape... On that bit there just to keep that in place yeah. and also to put a little bit more underneath okay I've put a little bit more glue than is necessary but you get the general idea okay so the next thing is you've got your rails 
So on your veranda, you can have your rails along here. So I'll take this piece off. So you can put these on. So you've got one bit fits on the side, like so. So you can glue that on. Oh, so, so it gives like a, a lip? Yeah. On the edge, I'm just looking at the edges, I can see you've got a little notch out of the edges. So yeah. It fits in perfectly. Yeah, well, obviously. Of course it does. Yeah. Well, I've not put one together, have I? So. <coughs> but I, I knew. knew. I knew it would have. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Would you like a glass of water? I might do, yes, please. Okay, yeah. while you're sticking that, okay. you might have a visitor in a minute, she's outside. Okay, well we're, we're at Maddie's house at the moment, in the conservatory, so um, we've had two cats looking hopeful for treats. And they went out disappointed. So we might get badgers, so this one fits in. Saying that, I've got two little bits in it, it should fit in, why didn't it fit in? There we go, fits in. Oops, there we go, okay. So that fits in that side there. You also get your window frame, which fits there, and you also get your door frame, which fits like that. Now you can decorate these before you put them in because the, the, the fit isn't crucial, and I would personally decorate them first before I, I stuck them in. You also get your mirror, oh, sorry, your, your window. So you can put your window in that side, either, bef, bef, uh, either that, and then put the frame on top. Or what I've done it is I've put the, the window oh, on, on the back and then put the frame on. And then, because it's a plastic sheet, all you need to do is make sure that you peel it off. I've started this already. So it's got a protective backing both sides so it doesn't scratch. So you've got that for the window. You've also got panels for the door. So these are tabbed in. So if I take one out, you can have the choice of either having a solid door or one with windows on it. It's entirely up to you. So I'm just taking that out. So you can put this behind, like so. So you could have a window behind if you wanted to. It's entirely up. If you want a solid door or a window door, you've got the choice of either either or. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep it solid and I'll put a bit of tape on the back of that. <laughs> Was that a cat? Yes. No. Is that because that we're ignoring them for treats? I like yes. this case, one by one. I'm well, afraid. She might suddenly appear. <laughs> right, so I'm going to put in some my window frame. Oops, put a bit more glue on there. Is it speed bond? It's dried off already. There you go. So I've got a bit of tape on, glue on here. Okay, so as I say, I would probably decorate these before I put them into the, into the uh, uh, veranda. So that fits in like that. And then you also get, can you see that? Right. Oops, I'll just that so, Yeah, we can just go back a bit, that's it, we've got it there perfectly. Right, okay, and you also get, obviously, a, a window seal. So again, I'll probably decorate that, but, but I would be careful, don't get any, any paint on this bit here because there's a tap, mm -hmm. and it won't fit if you, if you do. So you just put... So there's lots of, lots of brilliant ideas there. So you could have a, a, a um, Middle Eastern one, you could have a Wild West one with banjo. Home on, <laughs> home on the range. Home, home on the range. Um, uh, somebody suggested a um, Halloween it, type one. Yeah, if you put it on stilts, when I lived in Africa, yeah, our perfect. house was built on stilts and we had a veranda all the way across and oh, we were at the cool. top of the hill and when we were in a uh, rainforest. So when it started to rain, you could see the rain coming up the valley and then it used to come into the veranda and drench you. Well, there you go. So you can have one on stilts as well. So it'd be perfect for um, Indian tea, tea plantation type thing. Yeah, that'd be definitely. nice. That'd be nice. There we go. So you've got that and then you put your, wind, your door. Take that tape. You can just fit in. You can either have it at an angle or fit it flush. So it's a bit like brilliant. So, so it's either coming in or out. So yeah, let's put it flush, shall we? Yeah. So it will fit. Because I'm determined it's going to fit. <laughs> it does fit. It because will. it fits. <laughs> there of course, we go. It and that's what it is. Okay. So, so then the next bit is your roof. Again, your roof just literally fits in like that, and you can decorate this before you just put it on because you're only just literally sticking it on. It's not going into a tab. 
Um, if it swells a tiny bit, it, it's not going to make any difference, and it is easier to decorate it off, off before you put it on. Uh, don't make the mistake I did when I did mine, because I decorated it like that, and then I attempted to put it on. That's usually me and, that does that. And, yes, swimming, uh, swimming did it you <laughs> for a while. I managed, I managed to rectify it, but it was a bit, a bit of a nuisance. Anyway, so that's how that fits on like that. So I'll, I will glue that one on. If you, at uh, this, because um, there's a light that fits in. That yeah, I was going to show, well, I haven't got any thread I'll on me. I'll go and get you some thread. But what I was going to say was, if you didn't want to glue it, you could use tacky wax. Oh, you could, yes, exactly, that's perfect, yeah. You could use, yeah, I could just, I could have done, couldn't I? Never mind, I'll glue it So that glues on like that, so it looks nice and secure. So if I take some of this tape off, and let's not make it less scruffy looking. So that's your veranda done, and then the, t the light fits in the back here. So you just turn your light on, and then what I found easier was a little bit of thread. And of course, we haven't got any scissors now, have we? Yes, we have. Well, you never believe that we were actually crafters, would you? <laughs> You Thank mean you. you haven't got any scissors in your on the go, Kay? No, because they got taken when I went to when I took them to, <laughs> to, to the unit. <laughs> they got nabbed and didn't get back. So I'll just put in. Oh. It's quite a fat bit. Of yeah, it's a fat bit. Day. <laughs> this is challenge K on video. <laughs> right, so we'll put that in. Oh. Yeah, thanks, Maggie. <laughs> Sorry, it's what I could find at the time. I can get you a really thin piece if you want. No, there no, you are. I'm determined now. Right, okay. So <laughs> thread that on there. Right, and have that as a loop. And it makes life get, getting the um, light out easier. So if you've got a loop at the back, you obviously you can have a shorter piece than this, but and it just fits in like that. So like that. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, so it fits in like that. So to get it out, it's a bit fiddly, so it's just easier. Just oh, to, yeah. It's just easier to pull it out with a piece of string. Okay, and you can adjust the height of it by using that, that collar. So that you've got the plastic collar, and that's the bit that stops it, the light falling through. So if you, if you bring it up here, the light will fall down more into the veranda. If you want it a bit shallower, just bring it like that. But if you put a piece of string on it, it just makes life easier taking it in and out. So I'll just put that in there like that. And that is your veranda. I'll just put the light and on that. That's tacky wax. And that's a tacky wax, hold on. If you want to fix your rocking chair. So, oh yes, I'm putting, I'm putting, I've got one rocking chair. I haven't made that the other one, so I've got the one. So the tacky wax... And you could, again, there's a good idea that Maggie had as using it for the roof. This is, is brilliant. Stuff. Take some out and just roll it in your fingers so it's, so it's, a, it's a bit warm and it's tacky. And then you can just put it on, oops, let's take that out. I'll put a little bit on the bottom. So if you don't want it to rock and you just want it to keep it in one place, let's put a bit of tacky wax on. So this that is much. what they use in um, museums to hold exhibits in place, but the beauty is you can take it off and it doesn't damage. It doesn't damage, it doesn't damage um, the, your item. So you can put that in there. So, oops, so I put my rocking, rocking chair on there. So, so if, I'm taking, if you're kind of taking it around anywhere, it just stays yeah. put. That's amazing, isn't it? And again, you could use the same for the roof, which would be ideal, because you, then you've got the choice of opening it up and putting things in it. Mm. Um, decorating wise, I would probably decorate it there before I put the roof on because it is a lot easier yeah. to do it that way. So anyway, have fun. Beautiful. Okay, I hope you enjoy. And don't forget to show us yours. Oh yes, of course. Okay, thank you. Bye.